Welcome to section 20 of Parasites. This is our parasite overview figure. In this video, we'll be discussing Loa Loa and Ucheria bancrofti. You can see both of these organisms right here. Have you ever seen a Tomb Raider movie? If so, then you probably can appreciate that this girl riding the elephant looks kind of like the main character of the movie. And her name is Lara Croft. As you can see, she's getting ready to enter an ancient looking tomb off to the right side of the image. Anyway, Croft sounds like Bancrofti. So our main character of this scene should help you remember that this image is about Wucheria Bancrofti. Now notice that we've added several more people to the scene who are having a luau. This ancient tribe is responsible for guarding the tomb, so Miss Croft will surely have to appease them before entering the tomb. In any case, luau sounds like Loa Loa, which should help you remember that this image is also about Loa Loa. If we zoom up on Miss Croft, we can see that she has a merry-go-round tattoo on her arm. She has fond memories of her adventurous father who used to take her to merry-go-rounds as a kid, so she has this tattoo to remind her of him. Now that her father has mysteriously disappeared, she travels from tomb to tomb in search of his whereabouts. Just like in other videos, the merry-go-round is here to help you remember that both Ucheria bancrofti and Loa Loa are roundworms, or nematodes. Okay, before we go any further, let's talk about the organization of the image. Everything about Ucheria bancrofti will be in close proximity to Miss Croft right here, whereas everything else in the image will be about Loa Loa. Notice now that we've shown a tribal leader who's on a horse and eating a mango. Also notice that he's closely inspecting the deer that his tribe is cooking over the fire. Anyway, the horse, deer, and mango should help you remember that Loa Loa is transmitted by the deer fly, horse fly, and mango fly. Next, notice that one of the tribal members is grabbing some worms out of a bucket and placing them over the fire, right here. Let's zoom up on him so you can see this better. I guess he feels that roasted worms sprinkled on top of the deer will enhance the flavor. If you look closely at the worms coming out of the bucket, you can see that they're crawling on a skin around his arm. The worms, on the other hand, are much larger and swollen as they begin to catch fire. In any case, the worms on the skin and the swelling should help you remember that Loa Loa causes swelling of the skin, which is likely due to a hypersensitivity reaction that occurs as the parasite migrates throughout the body. Now you can see that we've added another tribe member who appears to be closely examining the worms before they sprinkle them onto the deer. Notice that he has lifted the worm up right next to his eye to get a good look. The fact that the worm is so close to his eye should help you remember that Loa Loa may migrate to the eye and crawl beneath the conjunctiva, resulting in a transient ocular edema and inflammation. All right, let's move on to discuss more details regarding Ucheria bancrofti. If we zoom back up on Miss Croft, you can see that there are several mosquitoes around her and that she's trying to swat them away with a beaded net in her hand. The mosquitoes are around her to help you remember that Ucheria bancrofti is transmitted by female mosquitoes. You can also see that she's riding an elephant. The elephant is here to help you remember that Ucheria bancrofti causes lymphatic filariasis, or elephantiasis. This is a condition caused by parasitic invasion of the lymph nodes resulting in inflammation and lymphedema. To help you remember the lymphatic system, we've shown Miss Croft here attempting to swat away the mosquitoes with a beaded net, which is a symbol we've used in many of our prior videos. So Wucheria bancrofti invades the lymphatic system, resulting in inflammation and lymphedema. This is an image of elephantiasis. As you can see, this patient has severe swelling of the legs that is disproportionate to the thighs and upper extremities. Elephantiasis typically occurs nine months to a year after the parasite enters the host. And to help you remember this fact, we've shown Miss Croft with one arrow in her quiver. So one arrow for one year. Finally, notice that Miss Croft has a pistol at her side and is holding several magazines of ammo with skulls on them. She's actually handing these magazines to one of the tribe members as payment for entering the tomb. In any case, the skulls should make you think of the word die, and magazine sounds like carbamazine. So putting these two ideas together should help you remember that both Loa Loa and Wucheria bancrofti are treated with diethyl carbamazine. All right, now that we've covered the image, let's review with a question. A resident physician is in Uganda on a humanitarian trip when a 47-year-old male is brought to the clinic due to eye pain, which began several days ago. The patient also states that he has experienced several episodes of pain and pruritus on the face over the past several weeks. Physical examination reveals subcutaneous edema prevalent over the cheeks. Slit lamp examination reveals conjunctivitis. After thorough evaluation, the resident informs the team that this patient's condition was likely transmitted by a A, female mosquito, B, setsy fly, C, deer fly, or D, sand fly. Okay, from the question stem, hopefully you notice that this patient has had conjunctivitis as well as subcutaneous edema in the face. These two findings are highly suggestive of loa loa, which is transmitted by the deer fly. So the correct answer is C. From the image, recall that the luau is here to help you remember that this image is about loa loa. The deer getting cooked right here should help you remember that transmission is via the deer fly. It's also transmitted via the horse fly and mango fly, as you can see by the horse and the guy eating the mango right here. 
A is a reference to Wucheria bancrofti, but recall that this causes elephantiasis, so A is incorrect. B is a reference to Trypanosoma brucei, but this causes somnolence and a coma, so B is incorrect. Finally, D is a reference to Leishmania donovani, but this causes spiking fevers, skin ulcers, hepatosplenomegaly, and pancytopenia, so D is incorrect. So again, the correct answer is C, the deer fly. And with that, we've covered everything you need to know regarding Loa Loa and Wucheria bancrofti.